Today I'm replacing the high pressure fuel pump on the N55 engine. Now, I've got some videos already on here. One of them is changing the fuel pressure regulator. So I'm not going to cover fully removing the intake manifold. We've got the airbox to get out of the way. I might get the fan out of the way, but we might have enough space down here. We need to remove the auxiliary belt, so we stick a T60 Torx in the tensioner and remove the belt. And then we need to remove the tensioner completely to access the, there's a round black plug there. The fuel pumps, obviously, fuel pump and vacuum pump are down here. We've got 11 mil, 11 mil bolts and nuts on the intake manifold. We've got the ECU connections to remove and we've got this big clip here for the charge pipe. This is the fuel pump slash vacuum pump and the problem I've got with this car is it's running rich and it's putting petrol in the oil so it's diluting the oil with petrol. I do also keep forgetting that I've removed this panel at the back already. I still haven't replaced it from fitting this uh, exchange engine or rebuilt engine even. Um, I've also disconnected this positive cable from the other side of the engine. The ECU is disconnected, the throttle body is disconnected. I've taken all the 11 mil nuts and bolts out. Right now. I'm taking off the auxiliary belt.
should just about be enough enough stuff out of the way. More connector on the pump here. Now I need to try and get this plug out without causing too much damage to reuse it. This is one that I've already got. Quite a small screwdriver hole at one side. I think these cost about 25 quid new. Coolant pipe in the way. Hmm? Coolant pipe in the way. Now there we go. That's not too bad. That one's too bad. Stop. Yep. That's not too bad to be honest. Flatten that and epoxy it. So now what we've got is a T60 Torx in the centre and three T30 Torx screws behind the sprocket which you can line up these holes on the sprocket to line up with the, the screws. So what I'm trying to do is lock it, lock the sprocket so I'm not putting all the pressure on the chain when I'm trying to remove it. But it's finding somewhere, something to lock against. Let's see where that screwdriver's going. See Now we've just got to get to the three tier 30 tops. Oh, it will be, won't it? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. 
してるのこれつけてるのあ、こっちのカメラ What do you mean? Good? Yeah. What do you mean? Right, is it clear enough to put a video? Yeah. One of our sounds are deleting. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> We've got the rug wraps on as well. Yeah, well, yeah, but the um, YouTube can cut that out somehow. Usually. You know, once I've uploaded it. Well, let's, do this, let's, <coughs> let's do this next one in silence then, shall we? No. Hey? Yeah. Do you refuse? What's going on here? You only done two knots? No, that's, no, I've done three. Just want to make sure that none of them fall down. Right, there should be. This size, I don't know. I think it's this boat that I'm taking out now. Yeah, it is. Video now. Oh, what? Mm. I saw it before. So I fitted the pressure regulator to the new pump, and now I'm going to refit. So I'm not going to record everything refitting, but I'll try and get the refitting the uh, plug on the front. I ain't going to talk the figures. So I can't help with them. Obviously when retightening the sprocket, make sure that you lock the sprocket to stop it from putting pressure on the chain. Go. Alright, so I've put a 22mm socket on the crank so that I can move the crank in order to manipulate the position of the sprocket for the fuel pump which will make it easier getting it back on the, the pump.
So now I'm going to try and lock it the other way while we tighten the, the bolt for the sprocket. While I'm waiting for the epoxy to dry, I'm just going to replace everything under the intake manifold, all the connectors, and then replace the intake manifold and the ECU wiring and everything. I'm going to knock this, uh, knock this blank back in, refit the auxiliary tensioner and the belt. see how much petrol is in the oil but you can see how thin the oil is it's terrible okay so it's looking about seven and a half eight liters so we had about a liter of petrol in the oil 